I'm John Fielder. I'm a nature photographer. I live in Summit County, Colorado, and I'm standing right in front of one of my favorite rivers in the west, the Arkansas River. I've backpacked and llama packed the alpine country where all this water starts. I've river rafted the raftable portions of the river, and I've hiked the BLM Canyon country all across Colorado and right above the river, a place called Browns Canyon, which is very unique. The cool thing about Browns Canyon is it changes so much. It changes from day to day. I think the most I've seen it change overnight is 1500 CFS, which makes it a completely different river when you, when you add and subtract water. The Arkansas River, and specifically Browns Canyon, is one of the most popular stretches of river in the world. Not a lot of places you can go anymore and not hear a car or a motorcycle or any motorized vehicle, but down there you can. It's just a spectacular place. Browns Canyon is a very special place to me. Uh, I've had the great experience of seeing bighorn sheep down here, hawks, eagles, exploring some of the canyons to the east. It has a unique feeling to it. The rock formations as well are wonderful. They, they uh, trigger your imagination. Uh, th this is a special place. Um, there's really nothing else like it in Colorado. We've got the Colorado National Monument with beautiful sandstone rock walls a thousand feet high. We've got those in the Dolores River Canyon, but we really, really don't have a place like this with these eroded pink granite formations, hoodoos and pillars and things that you wouldn't even believe existed unless you hiked up there a little ways from the river. not the same when there's a house sitting on the bank. It's a place where you can go and you can be. It's that, that solitude and serenity of being out on the river and knowing that it's going to be there for generations to come. Here's my ideal scenario for Browns Canyon. It would be that all the stakeholders in this area and in the state agree to set aside Browns Canyon as a national monument. Now we would do so in a way that protects existing uses, dealing with water use, with hunting and angling. Uh, the management structure would remain the same with the BLM and the Forest Service and the Division of Wildlife uh, and local groups being involved. But my ideal solution would be we set aside this area as a national monument because we would protect it in perpetuity, we'd enhance the economies of this area, and we would maintain the quality of life is the very reason that we all live in Colorado. I'm confident we can do so.